Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This morning, I'm going to be brief, as I always am. I'm going to talk about the seriousness of what's going on. The message today is don't judge the contest until it's over. Don't judge the contest until it's over. Today, the parties are judging the election finals. Both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats, they're claiming their victories. The media is doing the same. They're judging before the final. We do this in the media, and I'm a part of the media. We do this, we judge, we prejudge before the final. We've got to stop that because it ain't over until God says it's over. It ain't over. Only God knows the truth, the final outcome. But I want to share with you something. The final outcome is always for the people. The final outcome is always for the children of God. No matter how we slice it, my brothers and sisters, no matter how we dice it, my brothers and sisters, the outcome, the victory will always be for the children of God. Don't judge the contest until it's over. Don't judge the fight until it's over. You see, Pharaoh judged the contest and the Israelites were victorious. The Jews were victorious for one reason. They leaned not toward the ways of the world, but they leaned toward the word of God. They lifted God. And God said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all unto me. So they lifted. David, likewise, lifted God. The Palestinians thought it was over. They judged. They said, we will defeat these Israelites. And David, with the rock, a pebble, defeated a giant. All people have always put the people of God down. Yes, we've had our suffering. You know, this fight, this war that we're in right now has been one that has been here since the beginning of time. The struggle, the fight, the contest between good and evil. It has always been here. And it always will. But if we look at the history books, my brothers and sisters. Oh, if we step back and take a look at the history books throughout the ages of time. The people of God have always been able to overcome. We've always been successful. We've always come together. And you see, when we come together, we are a world aligned at keeping empowerment for the people. When we have tsunamis, when we have turbulence in America and around the world, you know what we do? We come together. We don't come together as a Republican or a Democrat party. We come together as human beings coming together to help one another. And if we don't start helping one another, God will make us help one another. God will. And we'll have to come together. We had to come together as a nation through wars. We have to come together as a nation in the United States of America right now. People all over the world are watching to see what we're going to do. I'm calling on my brothers and sisters to get out right now. All of you to get out right now and to vote. If you don't vote, you don't count. And if you do, you have counted. But vote for people, men and women, who are going to lift us, who are going to bring us together, who are not going to separate us. Because separate, 
We are not the United States of America. We are the divided states of America. And that's what we are right now. We've got to come together. We've got to come together as one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's so important, my brothers and sisters, that you do the right thing, that you get out and vote. Don't let them judge this contest until it's over. If we do what God has called us to do, we will continue to move forward. But we've got to stay focused. If you don't focus, we become lost as a nation, as a people. If you focus, if you keep your eye on the prize, you will be successful. And remember that we serve a God who is in the deliverance business. If we don't win, if we fail, guess what? We serve a God of a second chance, a God of a third chance, a God of a fourth chance. Look at where you are today. Look at where we are today as a people in America, as a people in the world. Over 2.5 billion Christians all around the world. We're forced to be reckoned with. Don't judge this contest before it's over. We're in it for the fight and we're in it for the win. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be the day after tomorrow. But oh, my brothers and sisters, victory is ours. Victory is mine, saith the Lord. And I want you today to know that. I want you today to claim that. And I want you today to have and to keep the victory in sight. There's a few days left. There's a few hours left. Tell everyone you know, get out. God needs you. The people of God need you to vote and to be counted. Don't be intimidated. Don't let anyone tell you who's going to be the winner. Don't let anyone tell you who's going to get to the finish line first. Because the people of God get to the finish line every time. We as a people will claim the victory. Know that. Claim that. And until next week, keep, you hear me? Keep the victory in sight. And don't forget to vote.